Hi gang, I'm Eric Shanefelt with Local Marketing Institute bringing you another tip to help you market your local business online. In this video, I'm going to show you why you need to claim your Apple Maps listing for your business and how to do it. If you're new here, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. You can also check out the description below for show notes, links, and more. And as always, please feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments section below. Okay, let's talk about Apple Maps for a second. Now, I've been a Google Maps user for years. A lot of us, I think, use Google Maps, and certainly a lot of us as local businesses optimize our business for Google. But Apple's becoming critically important. Why? Well, on iOS devices, iPhones, iPads, Apple Maps is the default Maps app, not Google. That's important because three out of four users of iOS devices actually use Apple Maps, not Google Maps. So it's important that you claim and optimize your Apple Maps listing. Let's take a look at how this looks, right? So here we are in Apple Maps. We're gonna do a quick search here. Let's search for hair salons. And you can see it finds some local salons nearby me. All of these listings are drawn from Apple Maps, not Google. All right, let's try another thing. Voice search is becoming really big. Church is near me. Okay, here's what I found. Also in voice search on iOS devices, or any Siri device for that matter, all the results from local businesses are going to come from Apple Maps. All right, so how do we go about claiming your Apple Maps listing? You want to go to mapsconnect.apple.com. We'll put that link down in the description here. And when you go out here, this is the interface. This is kind of like Google My Business, but for Apple. You're going to need to have an Apple ID. So if you don't have one, you're going to need to create one. I'm going to use mine right here and go ahead and just sign in. Once you've signed in, you're gonna see all the listings you have associated with your Apple ID account. Now, this is not as good as Google in that you can't have multiple admins. I'm sure they'll develop that over time, but you'll have to have an Apple ID to log in and have this business associated with it. Once you get into your listing, let's take a look at some of the options here. Right, it's really basic. You have your basic business information, name, the phone number, categories, what about except Apple Pay. Uh, you have your basic location information. This is your address, and uh, you can set your map here. You also have your hours, no business hours like you get on Google or on Yelp, and you have some links you can put in your web, Facebook, Yelp, Twitter. That's it, it's really basic. You notice there's no reviews here. Apple Map actually uses Yelp reviews. But anyway, this is what you want to do. You want to come in, you want to claim this business, and you want to optimize it. Once you do this and it's reviewed and approved, your business will now appear on Apple Maps the way that you want it. So that's how you go about optimizing your business for Apple Maps. What are some other local business listings like Google My Business and Apple Maps that you'd like to learn about? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you have any other questions you'd like answered in one of our next episodes, post that in the comments section as well. By the way, we have a free guide on our website called the Local SEO Checklist that outlines an easy six-step process to help people find your local business online. It's completely free, and I'll put a link to it in the description as well. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in our next episode.